today I thought I'd show you a few sketches from my sketchbook and how I transfer those and create um, a sketch using colour. So I'm just going to show you a few in my sketchbook. These are very simple drawings. I tend to use blocks of tone and, and hatch. Not that many lines if I'm doing a tonal drawing. Some of you may recognise some of these. Um, these are children who appeared in a, a few watercolour paintings. A little one here. Hoping you can see these okay. So just blocks of tone really. It's quite an old sketchbook this. I've had it quite some time and I do revisit sketchbooks and find some quite nice groups. I mean just a single figure I might take out um, or I might take a whole group. So I'm going to use a sketch for us today and I'm going to use Graffitint, which is a water-soluble pencil, colouring pencil. There's some groups of figures. And this is the one I'm going to use today. So um, this was uh, two people, it was actually, I think, in France, and there was a, a, a lady speaking to this gentleman. I just loved the, the casual sort of um, feel of it. Um, so there's my... My, my sketch. I'm going to put my sketch here so I can kind of still see it. And this is what I've um, done so far using graphite tint pencils, which are water soluble. So my graphite tint pencils, um, whenever I get a box of uh, water soluble pencils, um, I will put a little block of the colour and then wet it to see what it looks like when it's actually um, wetted. So these are the four colours I've selected and I've got them here upside down in my box so I know which four I'm using. Now you can see that you can barely see any colour on there at the moment but once I get the water on um, it, it'll look quite vibrant. If I need more colour I'm going to put a little on here and transfer it because although I've got my watercolours here I want the same colours within this little sketch. So I'm only using water soluble pencils and you can do that with watercolour, any any brand, any any pencil, as long as they are water soluble. So I've, I've done my sketch, I've used my sketchbook, um, I've transferred that onto water, watercolour paper, it's a very smooth paper and my water here, I've got my, my tissue, security blanket, and I'm just going to first of all just wet these little sections here so you can see the four colours that I'm using. So I'm sticking pretty much to blues, greys and then I've got a warm colour so some skin tones um, I want to keep the light in this I'm hoping that you can still see this uh, my sketch Maybe I'll just move it a little for you um, but there's uh, there's some nice light on the top of that hat uh, I'm going to get that with the background let's just start to wet the surface here so we get the feel of it so this is my number 10 around so as I just touch the surface the, the, the colours will start to blend. A little bit of, just put a little bit there. So wherever I wet, the colour will move in. So really the knack is not necessarily to wet where you want the light. I want pure, pure water. That's all I'm putting on, just pure water, but I'll kind of blend some of the colours a little. And I want some lost edges as well, lost and found. So when I put the background in, that should look quite nice. I want to keep it fairly wet. So I'm just looking at my little sketch. Do you know, I want a little bit more of that dark colour here. I might just drop that in. So obviously he's got kind of grubby, grubby old trousers on. Back to clean. I always clean it regularly, clean my brush out regularly. So I'm just patting the surface almost. Now she's got a lot of light on her face, so I don't want to lose all of that. Just tap it, let the colour just do its own thing. Oh, this is nice. I absolutely love it when, this, when the colours start to, to mix on the paper. And they'll, they'll take a little time and they do change. Right, so we've got the back here. Oh, there's like a couple of little 
creases in this. Kind of sketched it in really, really simply. Now I mustn't put any water on there. I want to keep that lovely and light. A um, um, little bit of light down the arm there, so I don't want to lose all of that. And then I kind of want to start to bring in, so he's still wet, which is what I want, because some of the edges, in fact, I'm going to start to do this now. I want some of the edges to be a little bit lost. So just kind of down here, I want the light on the top of her hand and on the edge of her face. So I'm going to be quite careful here with the brush, keep it cleaned out so that with the point of the brush, I just want to bring it to the edge of the figure. Yeah, that's quite nice. Here I want a bit of a lost edge, so I'm just going to let that blend a bit so that he almost disappears into the background. And another little lost edge here. Quite like that, that's nice. So I like areas to link up a little bit of this and we'll just create the, the shoulder here. Just let that moisture go into the background. Okay. Keep this nice and wet here. Do you know, I quite like the idea that that kind of is a lost edge as well. Now, he does have light on the top of his hat and at the top of his shoulder here. So I'm using what's called an inverted brush so I can see the point of it. Keep that clean. Just encourage that to go that way. It behaves very much like watercolour once it's wetted, but I love this lovely soft feel that you get when you use these pencils. So if I do a sketch, for example, what I like is that it still has this kind of sketchy feel to it. Now, I kind of want the back, oh, the back to be a little bit softer, so I quite like that. It doesn't all have to have hard edges. I, I like some of the edges to be just a little bit mysterious. Feet, so I've got colour on here. I'm very aware that I'm moving the colour about, so clean the brush out. And then we've got a little shadow here. And I need a little bit more of this, I think, on the ground. Just a, a few little, okay, and maybe a little bit here, not too much. Now, when I look at that, we've got some lovely light on the figures. Do you know that's really simple? I think I'm almost happy to leave that because the more you faff, the more you'll spoil it. So I used four colors. I used the sketch um, for my sketchbook. I'm just going to turn this so that you can see it. But it's got the most lovely painterly effect. I'm hoping you'll see. Ever so easy. So sketches changed into little watercolour sketches using graphite tint, which are water-soluble colour pencils. Have a go. Enjoy.